Hello everybody, this is TT Lemon and what we have here today is a range of pulse lengtheners. I apologise for my quite long absence, here are some excuses. And to the redstone. So these designs here range from really 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 compact to not quite really really compact but silent. So all of these designs were like this RS and all latch design I came up with here which I'll explain in a minute after I've shown you these designs. So as you can see here we've got our pulse length and then you can see the standard components you've got most of them like pistons, redstone blocks and hoppers of course. So we're going to press the button, we're going to depower this torch, it's going to bring this, uh, turn this redstone off, bring this piston back and allow the redstone items, well, the items to move out of here and flow into this hopper. So, now this will start to fill up and when this gets empty, this comparator turns off, which then affects this torch and resets the device and then it allows all the items that were in here to flow back. So this is the RS null. So as you can see at the moment, this is how it is in its standard state. This torch is on here, but also this input is on, which is a bit counterintuitive, but you'll see how it works. So to set the latch, what I'm going to have to do is depower this torch, which is going to turn this off, which will let this signal come through the comparator, and then keep the torch turned off. Like that. So pretty simple. And now to unset the latch as you would, we need to depower this torch which will turn the comparator off, which will let the torch come back on, lock this input on the side here so it can't turn back on, and then by the time this torch come back on, this redstone here will be on, like that, so this torch has no effects in subtract mode, there's 15 signal strength here, 15 signal strength here, 15 minus 15 is 0, so this torch isn't going anywhere. And that's basically how it works and how this works. Now these all work off that exact same principle, but they've just different configurations like this. So this is the smallest one I know of. This is 2 by 3 by 3 which is 18 blocks in total. So really, really, really compact. And I've got this one here, which is the same thing, but on its side it's still the same dimensions, 18 blocks in total, excluding the output here. And this one works similarly, but this power differently. So my input's here and instead of having a torch turning off this redstone I'm actually reusing the redstone block here as inverter. So when I press the button it will push the piston using this redstone that's here and push that out and turn the redstone off. And now when that turns off the same things will happen again and also instead of the piston here holding this hopper so I just come out of it. I actually have a torch here which is affected by the RS null latch. So you can see this keeps getting powered. So there's that if you need a two wide design. It's a shame it isn't two wide tileable but not really sure why you'd need a two wide tileable both lengthener. Now next here we've got a really simple one to understand. It's basically that RS null latch over here but with some hoppers on the end. So these hoppers are like with the eight items in, represent the dark green block over there and the light green input block is the same as over there. So again, I'm going to press the button, input off, allows the signal strength from this eight redstone to come through this comparator and hold the torch off. And then this stuff's going to turn off here which will allow the items to flow out and this torch is going to keep the items held in here. Now when this hop is eventually empty, that's going to turn off, reset the latch, it's going to stop holding items in here, and then this is going to turn back on, and all of that. Now you may have noticed with these that the once this circuit turns off, this actually stays on for twice as long, the lamp does. And that's because the RS null latch only stays on for as long as it takes the items to come out of this hopper into this hopper but the lamp will stay on for the time what it takes items to come from this hopper into here and then back again. So depending how you want your input, you could actually not use this input if you wanted half the length, you could take it off here, or this torch. And I just have a squashed up version of that one here. And I made a bit more compact, you took out this block, 
but the same how to take the redstone up here just works exactly the same so but it's one taller so it's not actually as compact as that sign over here which isn't as compact as those but the difference isn't really that noticeable I think this is a 20 block volume compared to that 18 but these designs are silent so that may be a bonus to you now I'm going to show you how to build all the different designs I've shown down there below so the first design with the piston we're going to have our input here with a button on it and we're going to build out like this take that block, torch, redstone, redstone like that and then we're going to place a piston there with a redstone block on the end then we're going to place some hoppers facing into each other like that now I need to make sure they are facing into each other so they're touching like that and then right here we're going to have a comparator facing inwards like that in subtract mode now the input on this here only has to be a, the minimal redstone signal strength turn this off and it can go into either side of the block or on the top or on the bottom however you want it and then our output will come up here now to test for how long this is going to stay on you're going to put a certain amount of redstone here you completely fill it or just have one in if that's what floats your boat um, I will provide a guide in the description of the video of how to calculate how long that will last out this output now next sign we're going to place redstone on top of that block like that piston redstone block and then underneath that block with redstone on comparator facing into the input with the torch turned on for subtract mode and then we're going to place a block here with a torch on it to go into this hopper here and these have to be facing into each other as always and that's that sign done and again we're going to have to place our items in there now the next sign which is the silent design we're going to place the comparator facing into the input like that block up like that and then two hoppers facing each other behind it now we're going to take torch out of the input which is then going to go back around into here and then that's going to run along here and into a block with torch on it and there's no view if you want to see that now the next one is just exactly the same as that but slightly stubby version but it's a bit bigger because you have to run a redstone, redstone line over the top now this one again comparator to track mode going into the input but this time we're going to have the hoppers right next to them, remember facing into each other and then blocks like that redstone over the top torch there so I hope you enjoy these guides if you need any help with these designs just leave a comment if you like the video give it a like thank you for watching and this has been Tita Lemon